how you drill the ball is really going to be dependent on how you throw the ball. Is that, does that make some you sense? Okay, so if I bring my ball in and, you know, do you try to find my track? Do you watch me bowl at the bowling center? What are, what are some of the things that you look for when, a, when you get a new customer in? Well, I like to look at the, like to throw, watch somebody throw the ball to see how they really do it. But their track is going to tell me a whole lot. In this ball, you can see there's a track right in here. That tells me they're, they're staying behind it fairly decent, but sometimes we're going to find a little tiny track down here. That tells me they're spinning the ball down the lane, so now I have to do something different. Another track would be coming through the thumb and the fingers. This is what we call a full roller. They kick out of it the last minute and it tracks the whole ball. The size of the track is telling me how much of the ball is on the surface of the lane. So if it's high, we're going to get more. If it's down here, it's going to be less. And of course, down at the bottom, we're going to get a smaller track. If I can't watch you bowl and actually see that, that track, the track's going to tell me a whole lot. And from that, track is how I determine the positive access point, because you have to come over and up and all the other stuff. But that gives me a better idea how the ball needs to be drilled for the type of ball you're doing. If you look at a spec sheet, that isn't always the way you want to drill it. It looks good, but that may not be the way you throw the ball. If it says a four and a half inch pin, we need to put the pin four and a half inches from that. But we can't do it without a track because the track gives us the positive access point. So almost always, I'm sure you get lots of, of bowlers that come in and they say, I want the ball to go long and hook. And obviously knowing the track is going to tell you where you want to place the pin, where you want, you know, all the dynamics of the ball. It'll be different from bowler to bowler based on the, the size right, of the track. and it isn't always going to match the, pe the picture that's on the spec sheet that's in the box of the ball where everybody looks and says, I want it like that, and it won't happen that way.